In this video, you will learn how to make a corner halving joint. The corner halving joint is a simple version of the halving joint that is commonly used as a quick solution in framework. It uses two pieces of the same thickness with a corner section as long as their width cut to half thickness. With a large gluing surface, it relies most entirely on glue for strength as it is structurally incapable of resisting a twisting force. The tools that you will need are a pencil, a marking knife, a ruler, a tri-square, a cross-cut saw, a marking gauge, a bench plane, a bevel edge, a mallet, a chisel, a clamp, and a vise. The materials you will need are two work pieces, some scrap wood, and adhesive. Ensure that both work pieces are of identical shape and size with square sides. Place one of the pieces perpendicular and in line with the end grain of the other. Mark the width of the top work piece using a marking knife. Highlight the line with a pencil. Reverse the pieces and repeat the same step to mark the other piece. We have used a dark pencil for the light wood and a white pencil for darker wood. Extend the lines you have just made halfway into the adjacent sides of both pieces using a tri-square. Use a marking knife and ruler to scribe a line along the first workpiece so that its thickness is split into two above the width mark. Highlight the line with a pencil. Extend the line to all three sides so that it begins and ends at the width mark, traveling across the end grain. Now, repeat the steps to scribe a line marking half the thickness of the second piece. Mark the position of the joint on the first piece using the thickness of the other piece. Aligned with an extra length of approximately 2 mm from the end grain as a guide. Use a pencil to mark a series of stripes to differentiate the portion of the wood that will be removed. For the remaining steps, continue watching How to Make a Corner Halving Joint Part 2.